Hi, Grade 11, so have a look at this pattern. The first question is as follows. Is this pattern a quadratic pattern? Justify your answer with relevant calculations. In order to check whether this is a quadratic pattern, what I prefer doing is rewriting the pattern and labeling the different parts. So Tn is the term and n is the position of each term. This is position 1, position 2, position 3, position 4, and so forth. So in order for this to be a quadratic pattern, the first differences should be a linear pattern and the second differences should be a constant. Let's see whether this pattern obeys that property. So 27 minus 13 is 14. 45 minus 27 is 18 and 67 minus 45 is 22 and if you take the differences of these terms you'll notice that there's a constant difference of 4 therefore by inspection this here is a linear pattern and this here is a constant second difference therefore this here is a quadratic pattern so the second question is as follows determine the general term tn of the quadratic number pattern so the general formula for any quadratic pattern can be written as follows tn should be equals to a n squared plus b n plus c and it's possible to find the unknowns a b c from these parameters and these are parameters that you should remember the first one is 2a should always equals to the second constant difference 3a plus b should be equals to the first term in the first differences And the first term for the quadratic pattern should always be equals to a plus b plus c. So we can already find the value of a because 2a should be equals to the second constant difference, which is 4. It implies that a should be equals to 2. And now we can find b because we know 3a plus b should be equals to the first term in the first differences. And we have a which is 2, so we can just substitute it in there. So 3 times 2 plus b is equal to 14. 6 plus b is equal to 14. Therefore, b should be equal to 8. So since we have a and we have b, it's possible to find c because we know a plus b plus c is equal to the first term in the quadratic pattern, which is equal to 13. So it's just plugging and playing. a is 2 plus 8 plus c should be equal to 13. And 2 plus 8 is 10 plus c should be equal to 13. Therefore, c should be equal to positive 3. So we have ABC, so we can substitute it back into the general term. Therefore, TN should be equals to 2N squared plus 8N plus 3. The next question reads as follows. Calculate the value of T100, so we want the value of the 100th term. So it's just a matter of substitution. So T100 should be equals to 200 squared plus 8 times 100 plus 3. So this should be equals to 2, 0, 0, 0, 0, plus 800 plus 3. So this is 0 plus 800 
plus 3. Right, moving on to the next question. The first difference between two consecutive terms of the quadratic pattern is 110. Determine the value of these two terms. So we don't know what these terms are. Some two terms in the pattern. But what we do know is what their difference is. The difference is 100, 110. Take note that the position of the first term in the linear pattern corresponds to the first term of the position. Their position numbers are the same. So if this is if this is um t1, this is t1, if this is t2, this is t2. So if we can find the position of this term, then it would be possible to find the position of the above term. And once we find this position, where, where n is here, then we can substitute it in the formula to find the value of the term. So let's find the position of 110 in this linear pattern. Recall I said that for a quadratic pattern, the first differences form a linear pattern. So a good place to start is to find the formula. The general formula for this pattern and the formula is the general term is tn is equals to i n plus d where a is a constant difference and the constant difference is 4 n plus d we can use the first term so when the value of uh, when the term is 14 n is 1. We're doing this because we want to find d. So therefore, d should be equals to 10. So therefore, the, the general term for the linear pattern is tn is equals to a n, which is 4n, plus 10. But now we have the value of the term. So we can substitute it into the formula. So that is 110 is equals to 4n plus 10, therefore 4n should be equals to 100, and that implies that n should be equals to 25. So this here in the linear pattern is in position 25. Tn, which is 110, is at position n, which is 25. So remember earlier I said that the first term in the quadratic pit in the position corresponds to the first term in the in the linear pattern. So likewise, if this is at position 25, it would mean that in the quadratic pattern, whatever term is here should also be at position 25. So that would mean that the terms that the question is asking for are at position 25 and position 26 because the 25th position in the linear pattern corresponds to the 25th position in the quadratic pattern as we have seen here for these terms. So now we can plug and play. So t25 is equal to 2 into 25, 2 into 25 squared plus 8 times 25 plus 3 and that should give us 1453 and t26 should be equals to 2 into 26 squared plus 8 times 26 plus 3 and that should give us 1500 63 and the last and the last question reads as follows show that all the terms of the of this quadratic number pattern will be odd numbers so in the quadratic pattern we've already noted that the terms given are all odd numbers including the ones 
that we found in 4.1.4. They are also odd numbers. And as a general um, rule, whenever you add, whenever you add a even number to an odd number, the answer is always an odd number. So have a look, pay attention at the first differences and the second differences. They are odd numbers. So with each successive term in the quadratic pattern, to get each successive term, you need to add even numbers. And whenever you whenever you add an even number to an odd number, you always get an odd number as an answer. Thanks for watching. And they should give us twenty thousand eight hundred and three.